Hey guys, welcome to Coop Scoop Daily, the daily quest for facial hair. And in today's vlog, I wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind for a while or whatnot, but something that's kind of acts as a reminder to something that I love that I haven't talked about in a very long time, at least not solely talked about this certain entertainment franchise or whatnot. Now, as I was digging through my boxes today, um, pulling out things that I was going through, yeah, you know, because I packed and whatnot, just kind of moved back here and uh, came across this guy right here. This right here is my Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man suit. I have not worn this in a very long time. Um, probably since, I think it was the last time I wore it was uh, back for the first Solid Comic Con press conference. I've actually did that my vlog. But it's been a very long time since and I've actually kind of forgot I even owned this. And that started to get me thinking. It's been a long time since I've talked about Spider-Man. At least solely about Spider-Man. In fact, that's what my whole YouTube channel, my main YouTube channel, Spider Pixie, was all about. And that was my, if you guys don't know, if uh, some of you guys just know me from my vlog here, Spider Pixie is actually my main channel. My main channel where I talk about geeky stuff and do reviews and whatnot. At least, uh, you know, more professional kind of stuff rather than just a daily vlog. Um, but Spider Pixie started out as uh, like a main, mainly a Spider Man fan community somewhere where I can go and talk to you guys, talk to Spider-Man fans and whatnot, address address what I have to say, show off my collection a bit, show off, you know, new things I got, reviews, thoughts about upcoming movies, news about upcoming movies, and whatnot. That's what my Spider-Man C channel was all about. Ever since then, though, hype has kind of gone down a bit. You know what I mean? Um, because we had The Amazing Spider-Man 2 come, come out. Now, granted, I... I, I like The Amazing Spider-Man 2 a lot. It, I did, it did kind of Phantom Menace. It, it kind of was Phantom Menacing with me though a bit. Now, if you guys don't know what that term means, it's basically when you try to convince yourself you like the movie more than you actually did. Such as when people went to go see uh, Star Wars Episode 1, A Phantom Menace. As with me, I, I love Phantom Menace as a kid, but as time, go and time goes on, I realize how much of a steaming pile of crap that movie is. You guys can like it. All film is subjective. Me, I just, I really don't like the prequels. Um, but, um, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, I still think is a good movie. I think it's, I, I really enjoyed The Amazing Spider-Man 2, actually, and I think it gets a lot of bad rep, but I do see where a lot of people have come, come, come from now. And I'm going to stop defending the movie, because I do understand that people dislike the movie and I see its flaws of course I still find it an enjoyable film especially as a Spider-Man fan I find it enjoyable to watch so that's just me though really and a lot of other Spider-Man fans that I know but that I'm just saying I'm just saying <laughs> but ever since the Amazing Spider-Man 2 came out and whatnot um we were all waiting for the Sinister, Sinister Six movie that was supposed to happen actually this year and we we're going to like oh boy I can't wait to speculate on set photos and whatnot or establish this new Amazing Spider-Man universe and uh, with Andrew Garfield and whatnot. And uh, then Sony decided, hey, you know what? We're not doing the Spider-Man movies anymore. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 didn't make as much money as I thought it would. Granted, it still made so much money with the Amazing Spider-Man 2. People that say it was a flop, it was far from a flop. It made a shit ton of money. But, you know, just critics and audiences didn't care for it that much. So I guess they realized, hey, you know what? We could make a huge profit if we partnered with Marvel Studios and allowed them to use Spider-Man in their cinematic universe. Also something I'll address too, keep in mind too, uh, for you guys that don't know, Sony still owns the rights to the Spider-Man movies and the Spider-Man characters. They're just allowing Marvel to use them in their movies. That's why we're going to see Spider-Man in Civil War. Just a misconception I wanted to address. <laughs> anyway. Um, that happened back in last February, actually, and Tom Holland was announced as the new Spider-Man in June and July and whatnot, and I even talked about that on my vlog, too, a while ago. Um, when the, when the day it was announced, too, I made my re reaction video and whatnot. But since then, though, there wasn't, re there hasn't been much to talk about. We still don't know exactly what Spider-Man is going to do in Civil War, besides some articles and whatnot, and people's speculations or theories and whatnot. There's no official statement saying what's going to happen or whatnot. I mean, sure, he's, people have, 
actors have talked about him robert downey jr has talked about him the russo brothers have talked about him and his role in civil war and um but you know still nothing really official we don't even know what the suit's going to look like yet we don't even know what exactly what peter parker in the movie would look like yet well will look like i should say um there hasn't been much news to report on besides theories and speculation and quotes from people involved with the movie but that's not necessarily official you know things to discuss about the movie besides like little quips like oh yeah he's good in the movie james gunn said oh spider-man was awesome in the test screening he saw for captain america civil war but there's not much to really talk about there so that's why i haven't been making uh, uh, sorry i can't talk it's really late at night that's why i have been making um news videos or anything on spider-man because there's not really any solid juicy stuff to talk about and hopefully soon we can see like a suit reveal or more official news on the character and i'll make more videos and whatnot and maybe even on spider pick c i hope that happens because right now it's a very slow news time for spider-man another thing too i hope they don't release the suit i mean that would be kind of cool obviously we're going to get leaks of the suit and whatnot um but it would be kind of cool if they kept it for the movie you know what i mean like you go in there watch captain america civil war and you see spider-man on screen and that's your first time seeing spider-man how cool would that be but the internet happens to exist so undoubtedly there will be a leak of spider-man suit but to answer your question about why it's just because there hasn't been much hype, you know? There hasn't even been a new Spider-Man game since The Amazing Spider-Man 2. There's been quite a lot going in the comics, going on in the comics, but I don't read the comics personally. I, I enjoy the comics and I respect the comics, of course, but, you know, comics, getting into comic books are, is such an expensive hobby. I simply cannot afford keeping up with every single issue that ever comes out, so that's why I don't discuss the comics on my channels or whatnot. But, you know, I respect those who do. But other than that, there hasn't been enough hype, and that's why I have not talked about Spider-Man lately. Um, and that's why I've been talking about more things about Star Wars, because, you know, I love Star Wars too, as much as I love Spider-Man. Well, I think Spider-Man comes first, though, since my whole Spider-Big C channel is based off Spider-Man. But I digress. That's, that's what I've just been saying. And The Avengers 2, because I was... Remember back in early Coop Scoop Daily how obsessed I was with Age of Ultron? Oh, the times... Wow, it's almost been a year now, too, since I started this channel. In fact, a month from right now should actually be the one month and I mean, one year anniversary of Coop Skip Daily. That's going to be coming up soon, guys. That's going to be soon. But until then, you know, let's hope I can rebuild Spider Man hype. Let's put on this hoodie. Let's see if it helps. I just happen to have this hoodie laying around. Oh, yeah, I feel the hype coming back. Just kidding, but you know, you know what I mean just felt like putting on the city for no reason <laughs> anyway guys that's pretty much it hopefully we can talk more about spider-man on spider Peak c soon let's get some news rolling maybe you know maybe we can do some speculation videos or whatnot who knows but that's just something i wanted to ad address and wow we're already eight minutes into this video so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog bye Rah!